Wine growers have pleaded directly to Victorian MPs to prevent one of the nation's leading grape regions being home to Australia's largest solar farm. One senior minister is on side as the government faces headwinds on new fast-track planning powers. Among the rolling vines in central Victoria's Colbert Abbon, a gripe over grapes has John Davies worried about his wine. We're not NIMBYs here. We believe that the, this is the best farming soil in the state and it should be preserved for producing premium, high-quality, value-added agricultural products. But alongside the famous Heathcote vines, a proposal for a solar farm from Venn Energy, with concerns it would spoil rich soils, the serenity and scenery. Within this Mount Camel range is the ancient, valuable Cambrian soils. And it's these soils that are the, the great soils for growing uh, any crops, especially grapes. But it's high value and that's what we want to preserve. John took his concerns directly to MPs at a private gathering before a special sitting of state parliament in Echuca. The local mayor also leading the charge. We, would, we don't want to see that solar farm go ahead. That's not in councils. Um, we don't approve uh, renewable energy projects. That's a, a decision made by government. We'd love them to come and talk to us. He spoke to Member for Northern Victoria and Senior Minister Jacqueline Symes. Um, but obviously as local member I'm interested in the views of community and I'll continue to ha have an interest in this matter. Indicating she might make a representation to her colleague Victoria's planning minister. Oh look, um, I've, I've committed to the people that I spoke to last night that I'll, that I'll have a look at it. Venn Energy has made clear it's consulting with the community, but the power to approve ultimately rests with Minister Sonia Kilkenny, whose office told Sky News the proposal will be considered on its merits and impacts of renewable energy on agricultural land are considered. And actually giving the Minister so much power that she can actually make a decision without even uh, speaking to people. So this is, this is wrong. A solar farm would not only change the view from vantage points such as this one at Colburn Abbon, but locals say they've spent tens of millions of dollars on this region over the past decade. This will decimate wine tourism in that area because it'll be right in your face. You can't avoid it. Simon Love, Sky News, Central Victoria.